Hello, operators. I am Leonidas. This is Nucleares, and I wanted to take a minute today, well, several minutes, to talk about the condenser unit. There have been some questions that have come up recently in the Discord regarding the condenser and fill levels and the, the relation to the, the secondary cooling loop and how it all works together, the steam generator and all that. And, and so I wanted to take a minute and try and explain it, and then you're actually going to see me draw a... Uh, diagram of, of how it all works. So I'm going to, in case you're a visual learner, so I'm going to start off explaining it quickly and then we'll jump to me and my, I wish you guys could have seen my goofy setup of how I tried to record it. But anyway, um, and then uh, we'll come back to finish it off. So the way that, one of the questions people ask is, uh, how do you fill this? How do I fill or raise my steam uh, generator volume? So what this is measuring here is this guy right outside the window. That is your steam generator, and it is measuring the level of volume inside that metal container. Well, what's going on inside that metal container is it he the water is getting heated up uh, from the source of that is obviously from the reactor. Not going to go into it. It turns to steam, and that steam gets sent away to the turbine, and then it ends up uh, going from the turbine to the condenser, from the condenser back to the steam generator. It leaves the steam, and then at the condenser. It's turned back into water and comes back as water. So people ask, well, why? How do I? How do I fill this? Well, the answer might surprise you. You fill it through the the condenser itself. The reason for this is where the misconception comes in. All of these dials pertain and are connected to the steam generator, or at least that loop that close the circuit. The only standalone part between this and the condenser is this guy right here, the pump. So that's what I'm going to explain is that as, well, let's look at each of these. So you actually have two reservoirs or two areas where water sits. One is inside the steam condenser, the steam generator. The other is inside the condenser. There's a direct link between here and here this level and that level. When you turn the pump on, what you're actually doing is you're pumping water, cold water from here to here. And then from here it gets turned into steam, it comes back and then, you're, and then you're getting pumped back in. The pressure is how much pressure this uh, condensate is sitting at inside the condenser. The temperature is the temperature of the water inside the condenser before it gets sent back. Which is why the, the closer it is to 100, the less, the, the less work this has to do, and it's more efficient uh, in turning it to, to steam. If it's above 100, well, it becomes steam, um, and which is what we don't want. The vacuum is a vacuum inside the, uh, the, it's the exhaust of the condenser. I don't want to get too detailed, but that's what kind of helps to pull the, the it ensures that there's, there's no interruption. It, it, it pulls the steam um, through. It, it's, it's mounted at the exhaust um, and it, there's just, it's just a slight vacuum. Um, it just prevents pressure buildup at the exhaust and making sure that all the steam uh, is used to provide the mechanical power to run uh, the turbine and the generator. So um, it, that's a little more detail than you wanted, but that's what it does is it, is it helps to pull that gas, right? Because or vapor, that steam through back to the condenser to be turned in. Because you can't really pump a gas so much. I guess you kind of can, but anyway, so th that's why the vacuum is important. So if that's not making sense, let's go to my handy dandy drawing. Okay, so I'm gonna do my best to illustrate this and I wish you guys could see my setup right now. It's, you would laugh, but here we go, getting it done. Um, okay, so what we have is our steam generator with a pool in it, right? And we have that level, steam generator, level and that uh right and then and we have steam coming out of our generator right so steam goes out um we won't worry about that but eventually the steam comes back in 
after it's done being used to generate energy. Well, that comes in and you can think of it, well, this isn't actually how it works, but imagine you have the it, it, a coil where it cools down, okay? And then it deposits. So let's see if we can illustrate this. Imagine that it's going in its loop. Okay, and it empties into this other container here. Okay. And it has water. So it comes in as steam and it goes from steam, gets cooled, and then it turns into water. And, and it, when it enters this little tank, it's water. And then from there, it gets pumped. Well, this is our little pump right here. It gets pumped from there back into our steam generator, okay? To be turned into steam again and on it goes. So this, and then imagine that there's these other coils uh, that come in this way, like this, and they're the ones that do the cooling. Let me go back out. Um, well, I think I've messed up my loop. It doesn't really matter, but you get the idea, right? Uh, okay, so this, so then you have cold water coming in, right? And and it then gets warmed. It takes the heat away. The heat transfers from here into here, and then it gets whisked away. Then you have warm water or hot water being taken away, that away. What? What goes on inside here, this is the condenser. And this is a very rough idea, but hopefully it, 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 it gets it across. This is our condenser. This right here is our condenser level. So you have two reservoirs or two areas where water collects. Now what's happening here, obviously, right, our steam is going, is being passed, and it goes through the turbine, spins the little fan, the blades inside, which then spins your electric generator, and that makes uh, electricity that goes to, oh, can I do this? Power lines, All right, to steel, and that's where your energy, oh, that's a Z, I meant to do lightning bolts. Uh, and that's where your energy comes out, right? Um, and it travels down the line this way. So that steam, right, after it goes through the turbine, has to be returned, and it comes back this way. That This pump here is your secondary pump, okay? And your uh, condenser pump is way over here. Uh, yeah, I know they wrote these backward, but whatever. Conden... Oh, you can't even see them. Off the screen. Condenser. Sorry. And then this is what goes through the cooling towers. Right? The iconic cooling towers. And we see this kind of on the diagram on the wall. And, it gets, and that's where it goes from hot to cold and then back again. These two loops never touch. The water inside of them never touches. This is an oversimplified version. It's not actually how it works, but just to show you that it's two clo essentially closed loops that never actually touch. So this is why, and then you have this other pipe that comes in, we'll say right here, okay? And it goes to your, um, uh, well, this is your, your, your condenser, this is your condenser, um, freight pump. And this is how you fill your condenser. So when you flick that on and it, and it, it uh, adds water, well, what it's doing is it's dumping in here, okay, into this, into this second area, the other half, as it were. And then when you flip on that secondary pump, it's taking all, all that's doing is pumping water and it goes through here. And then um, your, and then it gets, pulled through right to the turbine 
Um, and it comes back around and, and, and away we go. So, so your condenser fill it. So I hope that makes sense. Whoops, fill level. So I hope that makes sense that, that this is how the condenser fill level works. This is your secondary loop. This is your tertiary loop that goes through your cooling towers, right? Big plumes of smoke uh, coming out that way uh, over there. Hopefully that makes sense. That you have two levels. If you want to increase this one, you turn on the pump and it pulls water from your condenser. Well, this area inside of the condenser, this whole thing is the condenser, right? This whole thing. Uh, or what's going on inside of there. It, you, you're filling this one and then the pump pulls water over. As you, as you, uh, br not burn, what's the word, boil. Water from here and it turns to steam, this water, this level drops and it gets refilled here. So hopefully this makes sense. I know it's oversimplified, um, but I just wanted to demonstrate that even though all of those, those items are on the condenser panel, the different gauges and the pressure and the thing um, that really that pump that the, the thing that's labeled as a condenser pump the thing you're adjusting the speed to that is only going to is taking the water through and around the cooling towers and back that's all it's doing it everything else is in the secondary loop the steam generator loop or the evaporator loop so hopefully that helps i hope you enjoyed that drawing and explanation hopefully it makes sense and now here is a more professional uh done drawing i guess i could have just used this but this is the exact same concept and here we have our loops primary secondary and tertiary and this we don't see it here but this goes off to the cooling towers so so this is what's happening right is that we're boiling we're turning the steam it turns the turbine it comes back in and the, the heat being whisked away turns it into water and this is the condenser fill level. That's it, right there. And when you pump it on, that's what you're pumping through into here. Sometimes people will say, well, but I shut off my pump and I keep getting buildup. I, 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 my level keeps rising. How is it that my level's rising if I'm, if I'm taking, uh, if, if the water's not being pumped from there to there? Well, because there's still steam in the system. And as that steam cools, well, it goes back to water naturally on its own. So all the steam that's in here, water vapor inside uh, the steam generator, in the pipes, in the turbine, it, it's, it's turning to water and kind of just flowing back in. That's an oversimplified version, but that or uh, concept, but that's essentially how it's working and why that will keep rising, especially if you still have a pressure. Now you can overload that pump to where there's just too much uh, too much water inside the steam generator and if there's pressure you can only put so much water in and you can overload the pump if you try and fill it up too high so keep that in mind but overall that's how the condenser work i hope that explains it i'm sorry this wasn't a short video hopefully that that helps explain the concept of water here and water here they're connected so we pump the water from here to here it gets uh the heat from the primary uh, or the, the the main coolant system, the core. We send it out through our main steam control valve to the turbine. It goes past the turbine and comes back into the condenser. It gets cooled off and sent back. We cannot, the last thing I'll say is is our, our tertiary loop, uh, this guy over here, it's not modeled. We don't we don't do anything. We can't control the water level inside of here. We can't add to it. We can't remove it. There's not necessarily a tank. It's just not modeled. The only part of this, this third loop and this uh, control tower that, that's modeled inside the game is this pump. That's it. They could, they could take that out. But when we uh, are messing with this pump here, this is our D1. Oh, well, I guess I shouldn't uh, include that switch um, or that. It's just this right here. That's it. All the rest of this pertains to the secondary loop. It's all connected in one way or another. So hopefully that explains it. If it doesn't, please leave a comment, ask a question, and I'll, I'll try it another way, maybe make a shorter video as a follow-up. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, 
Come to the uh, Discord, uh, drop your questions, bounce ideas. Maybe someone else can explain it better than I can. Thanks so much for stopping by. We'll see you again soon.